you lovely lot. Today we're going to have a play with thermochromic liquid. This one is your sugar and it seems to be all the rave at the moment. I've been seeing it quite a few times actually this year in 2020. So I have a few of these. Um, to be honest when I first saw it and I did order one from AliExpress, this is this one here, um, I thought it was just like you know the magnetic gels and it just all changes color and, and honestly i didn't see the big thing about it but it seems to have picked up everybody seems to you know like it it works best on a black background and i thought what i could do today is go through the various things that you can do i was going to sit down and do a gel polish design with you but i thought no I'm going to do tips and I'm going to show you the various things that I've seen, some that I've thought of. Um, I don't think any of it's new. Like I said, I think a lot of people have done most things. But for this channel, the first thing I'm going to do today was the rose. So in the normal way that you would do a rose, I put the thermochromic liquid on. I found that it spread very quickly is a liquid so it's as you tend to put it on it tends to spread you have to wait for it to dry so the thinner you put it on the better that second design was just wave of lines across but we will come back to it in a minute you put it on as you can see i am doing with all these five nails then you have to wait for it to dry and i'm going to leave it in that top corner so you can see the, the amount of time it does take to dry so the third design I'm doing here are flames. Now this seemed to take off probably about August time last summer. Yeah, probably last summer actually. August, September time, everybody wanted these flames. So I thought, okay, let's draw, draw it with the, the thermochromic liquid. Again, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm adding the final little touches to it just to make them flames come a little bit higher because when you do put it on it spreads it is a liquid so i'm doing it thinner and then just drawing it down then what i'll do is pop that at the side to set up to dry and then we'll move on to the next one i think with the thicker you do it it was taking approximately a good five minutes the thinner you did it like this one this one was really thin this was starting to dry before i'd even finished now what i will say about this thermochromic liquid is do not put it close to the edge on any design that you are doing it will peel um so what you have to do is seal it in so you have the gel underneath but make sure the top coat connects with the gel if the thermochromic liquid is between those two la layers it peels off that much i can tell you so here you see me trying to not put it close to the edge. So what I'm going to do is actually put some, I'm going to use foil with this one. And I knew I was going to put foil around the edges, but oh, it was a nightmare trying to keep it from the edge because I put it with the brush, but then it just spread. So I let it spread, I stopped fighting the wave. And uh, I went round with some gel cleanse on a little detailer brush and I just go very thinly around the edges and take it off. So that's what you can see me doing here. And this will be the fourth design. So I'm just filling in the gaps that I can see as it's drying where I've missed. So I'll just do that and pop that down. And then on the last tip, I'm going to do drips. 
So you can see me finishing off the design here now. I was out of shot, so I've cut that out and I've kept as much as I can. And then, obviously, I've now got five tips and I was umming and ahhing. And I know that a lot of people are doing these moved stones. And honestly, I wasn't I wasn't going to do it. Everybody's doing it. I'm sure you've seen it. Then I thought, you know, I can't do designs on tips and not do the one thing that everybody's doing. So I do grab another tip out the box and have a bash at the mood stones. So I'm just finishing off these. What I'm doing now is going in with that gel cleanser again where it's starting to spread on that drip and it starts to go really wide and lose its shape. I'm putting the shape back in. As you can see I'm doing here. It really spreads really quickly. When it starts to set you're all right but when you first put it on it uh, so that's the five designs and I'm waiting for it to dry you can see what's dry the bronzy coloured ones and if it's still yellow it's wet so now I'm going to go in with the mood so I'm going to do like a oval shape again I do go out of shot with this but I've kept what I can in and then I'm going to wait for that to dry then we're going to go back. So I put foil glue around the edge and I'm coming in with that foil and I'm just going to edge all the way round. Can you remember where I took it off? So it's now got the foil gel on there. That's cured for 60 seconds and the minute it comes out I'm going to put the foil on there. Then what I'm going to do, I mean I actually like it like that to be honest. I'm trying to get some heat to it but it's very hard with gloves on. So there you can see it changing colour. So this is the foil glue and this is my ombre brush. And I'm going to put some of that foil glue on my ombre brush. I'm going to put a few strokes up and down, side to side. Put that in the lamp for a full 60 seconds, which it is for this foil glue. Uh, bring it out and then quickly, while it's warm, get the foil on there and go zap, zap, zap. And then put some of that beautiful gold foil through that thermochromic liquid. And that's the first design. And I'm going to show it you without top coat, so how it would look matte. I'm trying to get it to change colour for you. There we are. So that's what it would look like matte. It's really quite nice, isn't it? So this is going to be the first one done top coat that pop it in the lamp for a full cure which is 60 seconds there we go and that's it done so that's the first one finished this is the rose that's what it would look like matte I'm going to top coat that exactly the same pop it in the lamp for a full cure to get a nice even coverage there it starts to pull around the rose so I kind of go in between and try and get that off and make it nice and thin and then that's it when it comes out the lamp so that's the second one finished so that's the rose design there you can see the others are all set in now Okay, so the waves across the line, I am going to be using, oh, I'm going to show you, look, press, press, press. And this is it changing colour. We have some Saviland Silver Gel Paint. This is metallic. And I'm going to put some lines to follow through where the thermochromic liquid and there's the black gel polish in between the two. I'm just going to put a few veins just to uh, highlight that. I do have a silver in the um, artisan gel paints, but I, I also have a selection of um, half a dozen metallic gel paints too. And I thought silver would go nice with this just to highlight it. And then this is it with top coat. 
pop that in the lamp for a full cure. See how it goes blue when I put the top coat on? They all tend to be going blue. I think that's what it that's the sort of colour it kind of um sticks to when it's on the nail. That's lovely, isn't it? I like that one the best, I think. Then we, while that's in the lamp, I'm gonna do the flame. So that's it matte. And I'm going to top coat that while the other one's in the lamp. We're not going to mark the park here, guys. And then that one comes out the lamp, that one goes in, and that's that one finished. Three down. The drips, yeah, I think the bluey green is tends to be the state of play when it's not doing a lot. And then obviously, as it gets, you'll have the warmth from your body. And when the sun finally comes out, it'd be nice, but that as well. And there are the drips. So this is the flame that come out the lamp. Now this is out the lamp. Ta da I quite like that. Trying to get it to change colour. I don't think I can now. I think I've run out of heat in my gloves. Right, okay, so finally we're going to do this gemstone now. What I do with this is I am going to build it up to make like a dome with the gel bottle sculpt in gel. I will put that all over, build it up in the centre and out towards the edges. I will hold it upside down to let gravity do its thing. Then I'll pop that in the lamp for a full cure, bring that out the lamp and go round it with some microbeads. Then that's all of these designs done. So guys, this is the end of the video. I really do hope you've enjoyed this today. Something a little bit different. If you have, please hit the thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, I would love it if you would. Until next time, guys. Bye.